Hi everyone, it's your girl July and today we have an unboxing video. Um, it'll be quite extensive because I have one coach outlet bag to show you guys, two coach um, sandals, and then two Amazon sandals and I'll be comparing the two um, and saying what I like and dislike about them and just my general thoughts. So uh, let's just get right on into it. I'll start off with the handbag um, because duh. <laughs> so before I unbox the handbag, uh, as a little backstory, I fell in love with this um, Chanel handbag that was going to be released for their fall winter collection and it's called the um, I believe it's called the CC River Hobo Bag, and I'll just like insert an image here. Um, I was literally ready to show up first thing in the morning at the store and claim her. And then when I found out the price and the fact that it was out of my budget, I was so heartbroken that I had to sort of remedy that disappointment with another handbag. And that's where Coach comes into play. So let me just go right ahead and open her up. So this is called the Terry shoulder bag. And oh my God, she is beautiful. I love this sort of uh, baguette shape. Oh no. Okay. So I already see something I'm not super happy with and that's this like huge indentation um, in the bottom. So I'm probably going to have to replace her. But let's just keep opening her and take a look and see kind of what we think. So it comes obviously with a shoulder strap and with a crossbody strap. So this is her. The bag retailed for approximately uh, 200 Canadian dollars. I was so happy when I saw that this bag came out because I have really been wanting sort of like an alligator skin bag. And obviously this is not real uh, crocodile, but it is leather that has been sort of molded into a crocodile pattern. and. Oh, she is cute. I really love these sort of uh, small rectangular bags that are uh, very Y2K. So this is what it looks like on. Let me just give you guys a better look. It's just like super chic. You can't go wrong with a bag like this. And I love that the uh, strap is detachable and that you can replace it with the crossbody. Although I do love, um, I do love just a good shoulder bag. I don't use crossbodies as much, but the option is nice. I mean, it's unfortunate that the that the bag has a, such a big dent because if it was like a smaller one like this, I wouldn't really notice um, or I wouldn't mind, but this is just like too much. <laughs> Hopefully they have another one in stock still uh, that they can replace mine with. 
but yeah this is what she looks like and this is the strap which also has the same uh faux alligator texture and let's just open her up give her a little zipper test so it's all right it's not the easiest but it's also will probably with time get smoother or you could always apply some uh, zipper lube <laughs> What I love about these kinds of bags is that they are deceiving with their size and they can actually fit pretty much everything that um, that one would need. So yeah, let me just put the crossbody strap on to give you guys an idea of what that looks like. So you can have a crossbody like this, or you can just have it hanging on your shoulder like this. Uh, I wish we didn't start off the unboxing with like such a unfortunate defect. Otherwise, I do like the bag and I think that I will um, try to get it exchanged. Such a classic shape. Let me guys know what you think. Now let's move on to the sandals. I was gonna say slippers. <laughs> so uh, I'm obviously gonna start with the coach sandals and then move on to the Amazon ones and kind of do a side by side analysis. So right off the bat it's just really nice packaging it gives you that whole like luxury experience <laughs> luxury on a budget so um this is uh sort of the skew if anyone is interested in this so we're gonna take this off it has uh, inside the receipt and a thank you card Let's get right into it. Oh, so I have actually tried these uh, sandals on before uh, a few months ago in the summer. It was this uh, lavender color and I really liked it, but I just didn't know if I wanted to drop $90 on um, a pair of sandals at the end of summer. And then I just kept on thinking about it and being like, damn, like, they were really nice. <laughs> They're really good quality. Uh, so this time I got a pair in black and a pair in pink. So I'm about to show you guys the black one. Ta-da! So let's just take that insert out. Here you can see there's these little metallic details obviously made of leather and uh, rubber sole. I have a size seven and let's just try one on. Oh, that's the right foot. <laughs> so cute. I don't know how to like show you guys the shoes. <laughs> I think the, the little knot at the front is just so cute. It looks so awkward the way I'm showing you guys the shoe here. So, I do see some imperfections already, um, but I feel like this is the kind of imperfection that I wouldn't really care about and that's sort of this uh gold um detailing has little black sort of scuffs on it so i'm gonna see if i could uh remove that and i'm not sure if this is glue or like scratching but near the coach uh, 
embossing it also has some but um yeah it's got like a little raised part for your heel and they just look super classy super cute let me try both of them on see how i feel And how cute would these two be together? Like two peas in a pod. <laughs> Moving on, we will try on the second pair of coach sandals. So these were the black ones, and this is what they look like. So now we will move on and try on the next pair. And the next pair is pink. Oh my, these are very, very fuchsia pink. Oh my goodness. This color is really popular this season. So let me try these on. These are sevens also. What I told myself when buying all these slippers is that I will allow myself if I, if I really like them, to keep one coach slipper and one Amazon slipper. So let's put these on and see what we think. <laughs> Off the bat, I can already kind of tell that these are probably not the pair that I will keep just because I don't really have anything that uh, matches with these. Um, with these and these are way more universal and if you get them dirty you will not notice but yeah this is what they look like I would say though, because there's so much space around my foot, I would size down to a half size. So I'm a seven and I'm considering getting a six and a half, which is very rare because I'm usually um, a size seven on the dot. But as you can see, there is quite a bit of space. Oh my God, these are so cute. The more I just leave them on, the more I like them, but like I said, I just don't really have that many clothes that would look good with these, I don't think. I'll have to think about a side-by-side -side comparison. Both gorgeous. Okay. So we have these. And, oh, by the way, so the coach slippers are 90 Canadian dollars and the Amazon ones that I'm about to uh, unbox and try on are uh, 40. So they're less than half. And of course you get what you pay for. <laughs> but who knows, honestly, Amazon's really surprised me with a lot of the quality of their things. So, this pair is called The Drop. I believe they're real leather, but I'm not sure looking at it. Polyurethane. <laughs> I don't think that these are real leather, even though when I was looking for uh, slippers, <laughs> slippers for sandals, <laughs> Um, it said that these were leather, uh, I could be mistaken, but 
that is a little disappointing it definitely discourages me from keeping them but regardless we will try her on this looks very similar to the hermes uh, slip-on shoes that have been very popular and this is what she looks like show you whoops let me just show you guys what it looks like on but my foot is actually like spilling over <laughs> the shoe and it's like it's not the best it's not the best fit like because the the sole here is poofy and raised my foot is like spilling over there's not enough room for it when we compare it to the coach slippers you can see how much excess space so this is like lacking any excess space for your foot and this one's got maybe a little bit too much these feel so buttery smooth loves it so I am also already seeing some imperfections um, in the coach slipper. As you can see, there's kind of like some cracking of the leather here. And here, it's got some kind of uh, mark or discol and discoloration um, on the coach logo. This isn't a big deal. This one's not amazing. But like I said, probably not keeping the pink ones, so not a big deal but it is something to it is something noteworthy oh my gosh look at that that is not what $90 should buy you okay so these babies are getting sent back for sure I'm a lot less excited about opening this pair, even though this one is actually not black. It's snakeskin um, with like neutral browns and beiges. And now that I've opened the pink pair, I'm just like, ah, oh, this. I'm not gonna keep it, even if I even if I like the design, just because it's. Oh my god, <laughs> it's got that like plastic smell. My goodness. Well, anyway, might as well do my due diligence and show you guys what it looks like. Because if you guys like it, you know, go for it. Oh my god, look how cute they are. It's not fair. How adorable. They look so elegant. Oh, it's just a shame the material they use. These could have been iconic. <laughs> yeah it's just not great i don't have big feet and my feet are like spilling over the edges of the sh of the slipper oh. so these are the amazon shoes i really thought that i would like these and i do but just the material and the way they fit is not ideal so i'm sending them back as well and just there's no really there's no point in doing a side by side with the coach shoe because they are different but either way these have some i'm gonna have to just analyze them a little further because as you saw the pink ones had huge imperfections these ones seem to be mostly fine and i might keep them but yeah i don't know i could see like i could see the glue sort of coming off the edges um both in the crack here and on the side here and i don't know if you can see that but just take my word for it and look how adorable these are together even the aged gold it's just perfection <laughs> so i will have to go in store to uh get these exchanged for uh, you know a perfect pair so 
So just as a recap, this is the Croc Terry bag and these are the uh, Coach Brooklyn sandals. Regardless of this semi-disappointing unboxing, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah!